Hello, YouTubers, Twitters, Facebookers, Vampire Freaks, Instagrammers, Snapchatters, YouTubers especially. I think I already named that. It's your Shirley Diamond Kelly coming at you, a.k.a. Across the Bay. April 22nd, I believe. Wait, April 23rd, I'm sorry. 2014. Uh... Recording from my secret home away from home location. Most of you all and individuals that know me, you know what I mean by when I say that. Kind of got my hair different. I kind of tried to put it in a victory rolls. It's victory rolls is something that a lot of Victorian witch, witchy people wear, and it didn't. I grew up my bangs back finally, but it didn't. Go the way I wanted it to, with my hair being blunt and short. So, but it'll grow soon as long as I want it. As long as I take care of it, stay away from chemicals and whatnot. I never did dye my hair. I'm going a little off subject here. I want to show you guys something. Uh, I'm all done with my Sindel Mortal Kombat costume. You can see. I just got to do the back of it, and that's it. I got the... Uh, the armband's drying. Now I gotta wait till Halloween gets here to do the rest of it because I gotta get like the white wig she wears and all that. Now this is Sindel from Mortal Kombat 3 series. This is not Deadly Alliance or fucking uh, Deception, none of that. I don't, I hate remakes. You guys all know that. I don't care if it's a movie or a damn video game, but this is Mortal Kombat Sindel Mortal, from Mortal Kombat 3. The first video game Mortal Kombat series she was in. This is not the new Sindel with the alternate outfit. I don't like it. Just like Sonya Blade. I don't like the new Sonya Blade. I don't like it. It's just, it's tasteless to me. She does not have the same stance. So, yeah. I want to show you guys that. I made a video about it, but uh, I pretty much, what I went to is a thrift store, and I paid two damn dollars for the purple leotard. And I'm like, man, I need that for my costumes. I want to be a Mortal Kombat character. For this year, along with my other character, want to be, but yeah, it's it's working out pretty good. It only cost me fucking two dollars. So, thrift stores. What we what would we do for without them? For those people like me who are not fucking millionaires. So, yeah, I'm getting started on that. I've been working on that for like three days. My fourth day working. I got a little more to go. Um. Oh yeah, I got this awesome fragrance. It's called uh, Lasting's Illusions. Oh. Smells so fucking good. Uh, I went to Walmart, man. A friend of mine's earlier tonight, several hours ago. They had Bodman, but I want to give got did Bodman a break. Not that I don't like Bodman or Bod Woman. Not that I don't like those two fragrances. But the thing about it is, it would have been cheaper if I got the the uh, Lasting Illusions. But it, it's pretty good, man. You know, I like the bottle. It comes in. It's clear. The designs are awesome in the back, so I kind of gave Botman a break. But, uh, yeah, that's it. It's going on subject. Got my costume going a little bit there. And, uh, you know, the costume should be done fucking probably by the end of this week, and that'll be it. That'll be in my, man, fucking, I'll say four costumes I made by hand, and one I alternated. The Demon Demetrius one, I didn't make that. I just alternated. Alternating means adding to or, you know, adding more to it. You know, so the Demetrius, I just bought a pitchfork with it, bought horns. It only came with the doll and the wings and the dress. So, yeah, that's four costumes I made by hand for me, my own, you know, my own strength, blood, sweat, and tears, and other costume. I just bought it from Party City years ago. But uh, I got a few things I got to buy for other costumes. The hookups character, the chainsaw girl. I got to buy the chainsaw and the mask with that. Everything else goes, it's going to be with hair and makeup. Anyway, I want to talk a little more about, uh, a little more about magic and the way it works. And a little more about how people raise their kids and how people take sides and cuddle those who, or take sides of people who's, who, who they say they're friends with, which is fine with me. All right. But you're, if you're raising a kid 
and your kid comes out like garbage just because you're garbage. Remember that. I don't care who you are or where you're from. You know, it's a lot of situations happening in this place. And you know what? It, it's saddening because this is a business and it pisses me off. And I'm going to do something about it because these people are my friends. I can't sit here and let this place suffer, you know, and I'm not going to do that. And like, it really pisses me off when no one takes me serious. I can't stand Bland's word that I made up. I'm Bland is somebody who's just tasteless, stupid, dumb. You talk to them, and you're just, you get better results talking to a fucking wall. That's what I mean by Bland. I recently, I made that word up just this past year. In grapes, imbeciles, I don't like people. When I fucking talk to you and I ask you a question, you fucking answer me. If not, get the fuck out of my life. I cannot stand androids either. Those people are the most stupidest fucking people to walk the earth. Those people, you ask them something, they take forever. They, they respond like 10 fucking hours later. Start off texting on their fucking little faggot ass iPhones. Stupidish piece of shit phone ever make. Uh, drop it and it breaks once. You drop it once and it shatters. Uh... I'm just sick of the way people are acting in this place. My deal is, I don't care what someone's dad does for business or fucking how many years their dad or mom's been doing something for the business. I don't give a damn. When your kid is wrong, they're fucking wrong. There's no, oh, well, you know, he's not a bad person. It's his son and. She's not a bad person. It's her daughter. I don't give a fuck. The reason the kid turns out the way they do is because their parents raised them wrong. There's no excuse about that. And if you're agreeing, if you are agreeing with the parent, you're just as fucking stupid. You all know who you are. I'm not going to get into names and details. I tell her how it is. And I tell people all the time, get out of my life. You don't like what I have to say. Unscribe me off my YouTube. You don't like what I have to say. Unfriend me off my Facebook. I don't give a damn. I say what I have to say. And you know what? I say this and I mean what I say. I'm 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 being real honest here and I'm real. I'm not fake. That's why I make these YouTube videos and whatnot and put them on Facebook and whatnot because I'm not fake. You know. I, there's no excuse. If I had a kid, which I'm not a parent, but if I had a kid. My kid would be disciplined. When my kid do something wrong, I would walk up and see what my kid is doing wrong. You don't just blame the kid. Kids don't raise themselves. It takes two to tango. It takes a man and a woman to bring a child into this world. I don't want to hear, oh, it's not his dad. No, yes, it is his fucking dad. Because the dad raised the kid. So therefore, if the dad raised the kid, he raised the kid to act the way. That kid was paying attention to how his parents was acting. Okay? This sugar coating shit, I'm not in with it. I'm not going to like someone. Who, if I cast a spell on somebody, I'm not going to like them. I don't give a fuck what you say about them. Oh, they're not a bad person, Donovan. To me, in my eyes, they are bad. See, this is, this is where we're kind of falling off the bridge here with this situation. Those people that say that shit and take sides take the wrong person's side and I could give a damn less if you agree with me or not I don't care these are my things cause see I, I got my defense up here and in here I can fuck you up with a few words that's all I don't have to be big and bad and fucking you know rip my shirt off and be this big fucking macho guy I don't have to do all that I can say something and whisper to the universe and I can fuck your life up it's just that easy so see what people could do with a knife or a gun or a weapon. I could do just words by whispering a few words and have the right intent. That's all I need. If everybody go and waste their time and want to fight and draw blood. I don't have to do that. I can do those things or just thinking or dreaming about them and they'll happen. But see, this is this is how oh, this is how my religion works. This is how my self-defense works. I'm not going to be friends with those people I cast spells on. It doesn't work that way. Some people, even friends, sometimes they need a little fucking kick, swift kick in the ass. I'm not saying, yes, every person you put a spell on has got to be an enemy. You can put spells on family members if you need to just to show them a lesson. 
But what I'm simply saying is realize when your kid is wrong. Oh, their dads do this at that place and they've done so much. I don't give a fuck what their dad or their mom done for the fucking facility or for the business or whatever it may be or the building doesn't matter. I'm not going to be friends with people I don't want to be friends with. That's my decision. I had enough with shaking hands. This pat on the back shit, all this gossip shit. I keep my ear to the wall. When I say that, I mean mentally. I don't mean as in putting my head up to the wall to hear what's the fly saying to me in this ear or the other ear. No. I'll take that lightly because a lot of you, as I said before, if you're not into what I'm into, you wouldn't know what the fuck my words fall from my lips even mean. So it's just wasting breath anyway. And a lot of you might watch this video. A lot of you might not. I don't care about how many views I get or how many likes I get. Or how many, I don't give a fuck. I'm a human being. What I'm simply saying is don't come up to me and try to sugarcoat it. And oh, they're good. And it's not him. It's just I don't give a fuck. It's the parent first. First off, it's the parent's fault because you're the ones that raise your kid to act like that. That kid saw someone act like that. That kid heard somebody say that. It's like all these fuckers go and raise their kids to be gangsters and shit. Where did they get it from? They didn't get it from TV. TV is an inanimate object. Remember that. TV is a, a window. A glass world, if you will. It's what a TV is. So this, oh, well, they're not bad. It's just him. It's just a kid. It's just her. It's, no, it's not just the kid. It's the fucking parent. And and they say this shit with a, a vulgar absence where they think that, oh, you had it out. So, but it's not. Yes, it is the father and it's the mother. How you raise your kid, it's how they turn out. For instance, we're going to go a little off subject here. You get a baby pit bull. If you raise that pit bull, you take a picture or a doll of some sort and you say, okay, I'm going to buy my dog a toy, a squeak toy, but the squeak toy is going to be a black squeak toy. But there's a shitload full of squeaky toys you could buy for a dog. It could be black, it could be gray, but you go and get a black, as black as my fucking shirt, as black as the hair in my scalp. You go and buy your dog a squeaky toy that, you know, that is a little chew toy that makes noises when a dog's teeth goes onto it. You raise that dog to only like one color. Mind you, dogs are already colorblind. I think some dogs more make more sense and have they're more friendlier than you fucking human beings are. And they're animals. That's why they say dogs is man's best friend. And it makes a lot of fucking sense. I never knew what that meant until I turned, until I got older. Now I'm starting to see why people rather have their dogs in their house rather than have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a husband. Because you know what? A dog ain't going to cheat on you or turn his back on you. A dog's going to always have your side and understand things a little more. And that's an animal. That's why they call human beings the superior animal. Because we are animals. Think about how we treat each other. But anyways, you raise that dog in a black squeaky toy from from pup all the way up to doghood. When it gets older, you try to give that dog another color squeaky toy. Squeaky toy well, that's what it does. It's going to want to tear your fucking hands off. You want to know why? Because you raise it that way. Same thing. Here's another example. If you raise a kid and you're cussing around the kid from three years old all the way to adulthood, by the time that fucking kid is fucking 11, it's going to... Kids cuss every day now. What I'm saying, if you raise a kid from from babyhood all the way to it turns about eight, it's going to be cussing, right? Oh, he heard it in the street or, or no, he's a nice parent. It's not him. It's the kid. No, it's the fucking it's the adult. It's it's the mother or the father. Don't fucking sit up here and tell me, oh, it's not. It's not him. It's it's no kids don't raise themselves. Kids don't raise themselves. Kids do. Kids don't give birth to themselves. That's impossible. 
You're a kid. You just came out of the fucking blue. Where'd you come from? A, a fucking tree like an apple? No. It takes two to tangle. A mom, it took a mom and a dad to raise that kid. So don't fucking sit up here and say, oh, he saw it on TV. That may be so. But you're the parent. So this is the way your 15-year-old fucking kid or your 16-year-old kid turns out the way it does. Drinking and whatever else kids do these days. Always starting shit. Always trying to bully someone at a facility like a park or, or a recreational facility. Whatever it may be. Don't sit up here and say, oh, that kid's a dick. But it's not his dad. She's a, she, she, she's a, a little whore, but it's not her mother. Yeah, she just fucking taught herself how to wear fucking skimpy ass clothes up her ass. He just taught himself how to bully the fuck out of everybody in school and at the fucking park, right? No. Bullshit. Just because you guys may be friends with the parent and you're cool with them, that's nice for you. I'm not. The kid is wrong. That's because his dad and mom raised him that way. If the kid was wrong, that's because her mom and dad raised her that way. It starts at home in the broads and public. So my mom is always fucking tell me. So don't come up here sugarcoat me. Oh, it's not him, Donovan. It's not her. No, my ass. I don't want to hear it. And you can delete me as soon as I put this up because I'm putting it on Facebook. You can delete it as soon as I put it up. I don't care because I'm fucking sick of it. you guys kiss so much ass. It's fucking pathetic. Pull your head out of your ass. Maybe you guys are bad parents yourselves. That's probably why you would take sides. It's not the way it works. It's not the way it operates. I'm not going to really give out a lot of detail and whatnot, but I made a lot of people suffer. And you know what? They deserved it. The universe know they deserved it. So that's all that matters. All my friends that know me, most of the people that know me know what my religion is. They know what path of magic I practice. They know that. All right. So. And what pisses me off is you guys are two faced as fuck. And it's going to stop. Remember what I said. You guys can make a joke of this video and you sit behind your your little walls of the, the Internet and whatnot and snickering and laughing and all that shit but this is serious shit i'm not playing i'm tired of people telling me what i need to fucking do i don't i'm i don't befriend enemies that's just the way it's gonna go so this oh it's not him it's his fucking son no kids don't raise themselves kid grew up to be a bully because his dad or mom taught him that way oh so you get your kid only on saturdays or thursdays whatever that may be so. But how do you know when you do only get your kid when you get them when this other fucking asshole is raising them? Or how do you know someone's not teaching them wrong? How do you know someone's not? Yeah, it's okay to drink at 15. Yeah, is it? That's why you're going to be fucking. That's why your kid's going to be fucking in high school till he's fucking 30, right? I'm going to get a GD. Yeah, GD. How about a diploma? Huh? Walk the stage. It's sitting your ass playing Xbox at 12 at night. Make something of your fucking self. Instead of thinking of where you're going to get your weed from the next few seconds. Or the next fucking video game you're going to buy. How about studying a little bit more? So the next time you decide to walk up to me and say, Oh, well, it's not him. It's his son. Or it's not her. It's, it's the... It's it's not it's not her, her mother. It's her. No, someone taught her to be that way. Someone taught that kid to be that way. You can't rave yourselves. Hello. Wake up, people. Wake the fuck up. All you grown ass men and women. Pull your head out your ass. All you 30 year olds, 40 year olds. I'm not talking to the 20 year olds now. They're children. They fucking they don't know any better anyway. You can't teach them. I'm not going to waste my breath on them. I don't have kids. Which is fine with me. They're cute and all that, but I don't, I'm not into that shit. I'm not financially motivated for that shit anyway. I don't have money to raise a kid. I got money to raise myself. That's about it. But I'm just saying, this sugar coat and shit, I'm not into it. I don't care how much shit you people talk. I'm not going to be friends with someone I don't like. I'm sick of people trying to, oh, 
You had it out with this person, that person, and I don't care. That's just it. There's a limit, like my friend Dorothy used to say when she was still alive. She's resting right now. She's sleeping. When I say that, I mean she's deceased. But uh, she used to always tell me when she was alive, a friend, mother's of, of mine, who she passed away. And uh, <clears throat> I want to get teary out here at the moment, but um, she used to always tell me, she used to say, Donovan, there's a limit to what people can do to you. And I'm like, well, what do you mean, Dorothy? She goes, well, there's a limit to what people can do to you. People can only do so much. And what I don't understand is, okay, I understand that people don't like to fight. Fighting is ignorant. It's stupid. People get hurt. They get hospitalized. In some cases, they even lose their life. You get hit so hard that you can bleed to death. Uh, yes, I understand that. But don't you think at one point, that it's time to stop being walked over. See, I don't, I'm not one for fighting physically. I don't need to do that. I have never had a problem like that since 2009, except when I got, you know, got kind of an altercation, got my bike stolen. That was it. But it's like people start to find out more what you're about and they try to, they start to find out more what your religion is or what your path is. They leave you alone. I'm not bragging or any of that and saying I'm the best witch on the block, but I made a lot of fucking people suffer. And I mean, currently, recently. So see, you coming up to me and saying, oh, it's not him trying to mend us together and make me shake their hand. Don't work that way. I don't want nothing to do with those people. They're enemies. I never liked them to begin with. That's the thing. That's nice for you people. You know, you live in this fucking fairy tale world. You think that the world's full of rainbows and clovers and fucking cupcakes and ponies. It's not the way it works. Sometimes you're going to have to defend yourself at one point. Sometimes you got to stand up for yourself. So this little Plato world, Plato world you live in, it's not the way it works. It's not the way it works. You got to defend yourself sometimes. You got to stand up for yourself sometimes. I'm not going to ever shake the kid's dad's hand or fucking none of that shit. No, <laughs> no, it's not the way it's going to work. So you guys trying to mend it together? No, no, it ain't working. It ain't going to work. The spell was sent out and that's that. That's it. You guys are stupid and you don't fucking get it. You're not supposed to be near somebody after you cast a spell on them anyway, to be honest with you. So I'm kind of breaking the rules of witchcraft, actually, a little bit there. But that's something I can't control because they're around. As long as I keep my distance, that's all that matters. And that's what I'm doing, keeping my distance. Oh, it's not, it's not the dad, it's him. Or it's not the mother, it's her. No, remember, keep that in mind. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Not the parents that take care of their kids and raise their kids, right? But all these other people that fucking, they think you're supposed to lick people's ass even when they're wrong. It does not work that way. So you guys know you are. It's, oh, it's not his dad. It's him. He didn't raise himself. Are you fucking stupid? Reality check. Put your head out your fucking ass. Realize what you're saying. You're not making no fucking sense. Kids don't raise themselves. So, no, the, the, the sugarcoating shit it ain't going to help. I want to be friends with who I'm friends with. That's a nice little try, though, but it ain't going to work. The, oh, well, it's not his dad. It's him. No. Here, what the fuck someone's dad does or what is what her mom does, what doesn't matter. It's because... You didn't have the situation happen to you. You didn't get threatened. That's okay. You're, you you like them. They like you. But it doesn't work that way for me or anybody else. Remember that. So pull your head out your ass before you say, oh, okay, well, they're cool. That may be to you. They're cool to you. The kid's dad is cool to you. The kid's mom is cool to you. Not to me. I'm enemies. With that person. That's the way it will always be. I don't go to their fucking house. I don't hang out with them. They come and go. That's it. So I could care fucking less. But the sugarcoating shit trying to talk good about them. To think I'm on a fucking 
stop being friends with them. It's not the way it works. You, you're taking sides with the enemy, and I don't appreciate that. You're friends with them. That's fine. But don't fucking try to come up to me and thinking I'm going to fucking automatically just shake hands and lick ass. You know, it's not that way. That's that's not who I am. I'm Donovan. And P, everybody that knows me on Facebook, on YouTube, everybody, most people that know me on Facebook, they all know me in fucking person. They all know who I am and how I am. I'm not a bad person. I'm not an evil person. I'm only evil to those who are evil towards me. And I don't appreciate this shit coming up to me and trying to think I'm going to, oh, his dad is not bad. Well, to me, his dad is fucking bad. How about that one? And I don't want to fucking be friends with him. Okay, so that's that. That may sound evil, but that's the way it's going to be. I don't. I had to do. You guys can waste your fucking times being skeptics and non-believers. That's not that's not my job to push it on you. That I don't do that. I don't push religion on somebody that's acting out of stupidity. That's going way past the, the, the rules of the witchcraft way. That's not what I'm going to do. Well, what I'm simply saying is I'm not going to lick ass and sugarcoat it. I'm not going to be friends with someone who I'm enemies with. That's all that there is to it. Raise your kid the right way. Because a kid does not raise himself. Again, as I said before, maybe you guys are cool with the person's dad or something. Then so, so be it. Not me. You think you're going to mend us together and, oh, you know, I want everyone to get along. That's understandable. But you got fucking stupid people in this universe. And they're walking earth and they deserve nothing but pain and hatred. Because they want to give nice people pain and hatred so they get it back. It's the way it works. This is not fucking Adventure Time, you know, cartoon show. That's not reality. That's a cartoon. It can be that way, though. If people aren't put their head out their ass. Kindness to those that deserve kindness. And hatred and pain to those that deserve hatred and pain. That's the way it goes. So may it be. If these kids decide to dad or whoever comes up to me and shakes my hand and wants to be friends, that's fine. But I don't appreciate you. Oh, it's not his dad. It's him. No. Fuck that. It's not work that way. You got it all fucking twisted. It's not work that way. See, unless it happens to you guys, you don't understand it. It didn't happen to none of you. Then you'll understand. Some kid's dad comes threatening you or something. Or some kid's mom comes threatening you out of the clear blue. Then it's probably you react a different way. And you shake your hand. No. You threaten me. That is it. That is it. So don't try to make me be friends with them because it's not fucking working. All right. It ain't going to fucking work. So get it out of your head because I'm not into that shit. I've had enough. I've been pushed to the limit and that's it. Raise your kid the right fucking way. I'm not going to shake the kid's dad's hand. I'm not going to be friends with him. Raise your kids the right way. That's all I got to say. This is Donald Kelly signing off, a.k.a. Occult Cabade. Subscribe me if you already have not done so at YouTube. I'm talking about witches and witches like myself. So mode it be. So shall it be. Remember, stay you. Be true. You guys have a wonderful night. Later.